Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. It is our Monday edition of So What, which happens about once a month. So for all of you who normally join on Tuesdays, welcome to Monday. And I hope that this is a great start to the week ahead. I have some fun things to talk about today. Mostly, we are getting into the patriotic spirit of things, getting ready for the upcoming Memorial Day holiday, as well as summer fun and 4th of July and all things red, white, and blue. So today for our giveaway, for one lucky viewer who is commenting, liking, sharing the post, all that good stuff, we have a great giveaway, which is another new product that we have at Sulky.com, which is this six-pack sampler of 50-weight cotton thread. And it's in all the shades that you need for upcoming um, America the Beautiful, Americana, uh, patriotic themed quilty projects, as well as home decor, gift items, things like that. So if you are not familiar with the 50 weight cotton, this is very high quality, long staple, sulky thread that is great for piecing, quilting, I use it as my go-to all-purpose thread for making um, bags, garments, especially. I even use it in my serger. It's a very, very strong thread, and I think that you will really, really love it, especially when you're quilting with it. It produces virtually no lint. You cannot say that about a lot of cotton threads out there. So. This is our six pack that we've curated for all of your patriotic themed um, uh, makes that you will be uh, making this month, hopefully, and into the summer. So this is today's little gifty, and you can also find it at sulky.com. So in the spirit of um, all things USA, <laughs> we have our upcoming webcast, which is happening tomorrow on the Sulky Education site. So our Sulky Education site is sewingonline.sulky.com. And I've linked to the webcast so you can register for it. There's still time to register. You can register up until the point that we go live. And then after the live event ends, this becomes an on-demand event that you can view at any time. If you register for it, it goes into your library on the Sulky Education site. So as long as you log in with your username and password, you will have access to all of the Sulky events that you have registered for and attended previously, or things you have uh, signed up for that are happening in the future. So if you are unable to attend live tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern, you want to still register because we have a great freebie for all attendees and you can access the information at any time on demand after the event ends. So it is still available to you even if you cannot attend live. And if you haven't experienced a sulky webcast or video cast yet, I think you will really find these super, super valuable. We partner with industry experts. They are, well, experts in their field. So tomorrow we will be joined by Amanda May McNaughton. She is the designer and owner of Artith Design, and she is a cross-stitch expert. And what's kind of funny is she considers herself a newbie, but after some clarification, I discovered that a newbie to her is really anybody who's been doing it for less than 10 years because there are some veteran cross stitchers out there for sure. I know when I was growing up, I remember my mom, you know, we're watching TV together and she's cross stitching, you know? And I just have vivid, vivid memories of her um, hanging out in the chair with her cross stitch project. And it was really a gateway for me to learn about sewing and how stitches are formed and how to kind of read a pattern. And I think it's a really great thing for beginners, for even kids, 
Um, you can enlarge a cross stitch pattern and make the X's quite large so kids understand how stitches are formed and how to follow a pattern just like I did. And it's a really great thing for um, just kind of finding zen and relaxing and still creating something really beautiful. So tomorrow we will be working through this awesome pattern by Amanda May. And not only are we going to learn cross stitch basics, so if you haven't done cross stitch in a while and you need a refresher, or if you want to learn kind of some modern takes on cross stitch, Amanda is your girl. Um, not only will we, we be learning uh, this pattern, how to read a pattern, how to um, negotiate your materials, how to kind of break up your uh, handwork into manageable chunks, if you only want to do part of this design, um, if you want to do just the eagle on a little pillow or a wall hanging, something like that, we'll be going through all of that as well. But Amanda is also going to show us how to work with sulky 12 weight cotton petites thread for our handwork projects. So I know I'm talking about this a lot of the time, but working with those embroidery floss skeins that you find at craft stores and things like that, it just makes handwork so difficult. Those skeins come in I think there's six strands, five or six strands that you have to separate according to however many strands you need for that part of the pattern. Um, no matter what, you end up with a little knot or you have to then re-roll your skein um, into a different configuration so you can store it. Um, I've seen a lot of people open up their handwork toolkits and there's just balls of floss that they have yet to kind of rewind onto something else, a piece of cardboard or something like that. Now, when you're working with sulky cotton petites, they come on snap spools, just like our other thread. So when you are done stitching or after you've gotten your thread strand that you need for that particular part of the pattern, you simply wind the end in that little snap spool end and pop it shut. I'll get it close to my microphone. You can actually hear the snap. That's why it's called a snap spool. So you can do either end and store your thread end. And that way it's not going to unravel in your project pouch. You can store it rather nicely without a lot of waste, without having to cut away those knots like you would with floss. So Amanda really thinks that this the 12 weight cotton petites is like revolutionizing the world of cross stitch and she is here for it, let me tell you. So we're gonna learn how to work with that thread for cross stitch, how to start and stop a stitch, um, how to conceal all of our knots on the wrong side. She's got some stitches to show us that aren't just cross stitches because sometimes you wanna add a little bit of detailing, right? So after let's say that bison is completed, you want to add a little bit of sparkle or some little French knots maybe for the eyes, um, things like that. She's going to go over some hand embroidery stitches that you can use to further embellish your piece. Plus, if you would rather do this all in hand embroidery, you can simply use her pattern, follow the lines, and instead of cross stitches, you can use your favorite embroidery stitches as well. So it's very versatile based on the type of crafting that you would like to do for your finished piece. We're also going to learn how to bring in specialty threads into the 12 weight cotton petites fold, if you will. She's going to show you how to blend sulky poly sparkle as well as the super textured fuzzy furry sulky filane. So you could see we've got our bison and that really cool American Eagle. Some of those stitches are done in sulky filane. And that way it blooms and you can even brush it slightly so that it mimics faux fur. So we've got some really cool things planned for tomorrow. I'm gonna go over the kit offering and show you what is up for that. So here is the finished project. We will not be going over 
this project exactly. You're going to learn more about the stitching and the threads that are used for it. If you want to add that fabric bunting and you want to add that cute little wire hanger that has the little fireworks uh, sparks on it, we have a link that you can go to that you will get during the webcast where you can get all the information on how to finish your piece exactly as you see it here. But Amanda's going to give you tons of ideas to take your finished piece and build it out any way you like. So if you want to make this wall hanging, you can. If you want to make a pillow, if you want to make some different wall art, she's got tons of inspiration that she's going to share with you for how to finish your piece the way that you want to. So in the kit that we are offering with this webcast, which kits are not required to attend, however, we put them at a super, super deal for you. So for $39.99, which the, the webinar price is good until midnight tomorrow night, so midnight the day of the webcast, you will get the Ada fabric that you need for the cross stitching, and you will get all these spools of thread. Isn't it amazing? Look at all those spools of thread. Also included with those cotton petites uh, is a spool of the Poly Sparkle as well as the Sulky Filet. So you get all these specialty threads as well as all the cotton petites that you need for this pattern. Then, of course, we are including a pack of handwork needles. These are the needles that Amanda recommends for cross-stitching. So we had to include them for you so that you had everything that the designer recommends for this project. You'll also get one of our great sulky chalk marking pencils. And if you want to kind of block out your design and get it prepped for the next step for sewing it into a project, that pencil is very, very useful for that too. That's our little gifty to you. So only $39.99. And again, this special, it's available now and you can only get this price until midnight tomorrow night. All right, so here is the pattern. You will also get the pattern included with that kit. The pattern by itself is 10 bucks. So if you think about it, you're getting a crazy deal on that kit, which already includes the pattern. So I wanted to also mention that, uh, you know, I already kind of mentioned that you could do this design with hand embroidery stitches instead of traditional cross stitch. Or if you want to do stamped cross stitch, you can do so with the help of Sulky Stick and Stitch. This will be on sale tomorrow during the webcast, so you'll get a great deal on this if you'd like to do your project in this way. So if you don't want to have to count uh, along your fabric in order to follow your pattern, you can print it out onto Sulky Stick and Stitch place the stick and stitch on the right side of your fabric, and then follow all of your cross stitches with your needle and thread. This way, oh, you can also print it in color. So you will know, you'll have a visual clue for when to swap out your thread color. So this is kind of what I call cheater cross stitch, but I'll take it, you know? Anything that's gonna make it easier on me, um, I definitely want to go that route. Or if, like I said, if you're teaching a child or you're a beginner your own self, and let's say you want to start out small and just do that eagle motif, you can cut out the eagle motif after you've printed it onto your stick and stitch, place it onto your fabric right side, sew over it, get the method of creating all those cross stitches, and again, have that visual clue for swapping out thread colors, and this makes it so easy. If you want to do this all with hand embroidery stitches, print out your cross stitch design onto the stick and stitch, and then follow those lines with your favorite hand embroidery stitches. You can do long and short stitches. You can do back stitches along all the outlines of the motifs and leave everything else just so that you could see your fabric underneath. There are so many options for this project. Another thing you might consider grabbing is a German wooden embroidery hoop. We offer these at sulky.com. And if you are used to working with those brittle embroidery hoops that you find at your craft stores, you will absolutely love the German wooden embroidery hoops. They are super high quality. They last 
I mean, dare I say forever. They are much more accurate as far as hooping. They keep your fabric nice and taut. Um, you know, if you know these brittle hoops that I'm talking about, you know that sometimes if you hoop it too tight, your hoop actually will stretch your fabric or take on an entirely new shape. It will become slightly oval, perhaps, <laughs> things like that. So a good hoop is definitely worth it. And once you try it, you'll never go back. These are relatively inexpensive. They come in three sizes. You can get them in six inch, eight inch, or 10 inch. They also make a great finish for the piece. You can leave it in the hoop and hang up the hoop on your wall or front door. And it's almost like you have a little wreath. You could even hot glue some little gems around it or some uh, fake florals to kind of add to your project relatively easily. So that's another great option for displaying the piece. All right, I've got a few questions coming in and I will see. Oh, Julie, so funny, I love this. She says, I love not having to count. Would that be considered lazy or just accepting whatever resources you can? You know what? We are crafters. We are not lazy, right? We are just taking help where we can get it. That's what I have to say. And, you know, I will say cross stitch is a labor of love. Um, I honestly don't really, I've, I've never really done a cross stitch project that I could finish in an afternoon. Um, you know, you want to get started now for your patriotic projects that are happening in a couple weeks. And then you might still have to continue stitching up to uh, 4th of July um, or thereabouts, depending on how many hours you devote to it. So um, it's not something that's quick and easy. But like I said, you're finding your zen, you're getting into the zone of your hand stitching, um, and you're keeping your hands busy maybe while you're doing something else or watching a movie, something like that. So since we understand that, um, we're just we're just making things a little easier on ourselves, right? Um, I personally, I never really got into knitting. I tried it for a long time, but I would always lose my place and then I would have to count and then maybe I miscounted and all of a sudden, instead of my scarf looking like this, my scarf looks like this. And it always frustrated me that I had to pull out the yarn and go back to the place and try to count and figure out where I was. So, you know, I think stamped cross stitch is the way to go for me personally. You might really enjoy the whole ritual of counting over and making sure all of your stitches align and all of that stuff. And I also like that as well for a smaller project, we'll say. <laughs> so I take help wherever I can get it because I like to do lots and lots of projects. And I think I have a little bit of crafting ADD. I like to move from one thing to the next. And while I'm working on this, I'm thinking about the next project that I have in my mind. So for me, um, I take these little shortcuts where I can get it. All right. So another thing I was thinking, oh, Dawn says the last sampler cross stitch that she did took a year, but it was a big one. So yes, like I said, it can take a little while. And that's why we're getting started now on some patriotic projects that we can display and use basically all summer long up till, you know, Labor Day. Why not? Um, and, you know, if you're somebody who likes the Olympics, likes to celebrate those things, likes to watch that stuff. You know, it's great decor to have um, during those times as well. So another thing I wanted to show you was, you know, speaking of handwork, speaking of, you know, assembling project pouches and sewing on the go, whether that means going from your sewing room to your couch for movie night to a soccer game uh, or practice that you're watching, and you want to kind of take your handwork with you wherever you're going, you know, having all of these thread spools and your pattern and all that at hand in a little pouch is a great idea. So, excuse me while I find some things. So I debuted these last week and they are great little jute pouches that are big enough to hold your sewing items. And they have this rectangular bottom to them so that you can hoop them 
in your embroidery machine and personalize them. So you could put Ellen's project pouch on here or a cute little design. I made some teacher. Uh, I made some teacher designs last week to celebrate teacher appreciation week. This was the one that I was working on during the so what episode. So I finished it super cute. You could personalize these, but they're also large enough to hold your handwork supplies while you're traveling from room to room in your house or maybe out and about um, for, like I said, a, a kid practice or something like that where you can bring your handwork with you. So see how roomy this thing is? You can get your spools of thread in there. You could roll up your pattern piece and keep your fabric with you and have everything at hand. But another thing you need in that little project pouch is a pair of snips, a little pair of scissors, right? Nothing worse than remembering all of your thread, even your needle, and then not being able to cut it halfway through your project or when you are ready to move on to back into the car or back to another room, let's say, or just swap out your colors for a different portion of the design. So brand new at sulky.com, we've got these really cute little snips that are great to put into your project pouch. They also make really great gifts. So this is a little pudgy handled one, very cute. We've got a little bit larger ones, little geometric design, really small ones. These would make a really cute little kid sewing kit. Um, they are rather sharp though, so you do need to have some education there. Um, just to make sure that the kids know um, how sharp these can get. Super cute, right? The flower hands. Okay, so you can find these at sulky.com. Here's a little bit better picture of that purple one I was showing you. Create your own little sewing pouch for this project at hand. Um, and then here are all the other scissors. So you can find these at sulky.com. I link to them directly in the description of today's post so you can find them easily. So grab up one of these when you're getting your kit at your really great price and you'll be good to go. All right, let's see here. Oh, I just wanted to show you, we do have a couple videos also that we will be dropping in during the webcast tomorrow. So you can really see the close-ups of these stitches. Um, and Amanda's gonna take us through these. So you'll understand how the stitches are formed and you will get up close and personal with the work so you will really, really understand and get a great tutorial of the project. So that's why I included that little photo for you there. Okay, before I go on to my um, kind of patriotic overview of some other things at sulky.com, I wanted to show you some exciting things that we have that are brand new that you can use to decorate your sewing area. They also make great gifts as well. So if you have some birthdays coming up or a guild meeting or something like that, these would make really great um, door prizes too for guild meetings, things like that. So who out there loves the wooden signs and hanging things on your wall? I mean, I just, I can't decide how to decorate my space here. And so I have this blank canvas behind me, but I now know I will be using at least one of these in my sewing room. So this one's really cute for the door of your sewing area or maybe behind one of your sewing machines. It's my sewing room. It's in this cute little teal color and it includes the hardware that you need for hanging it as well. So all you need is a little bit of a level, get it on your wall. I mean, so cute. Also, if you like to make wreaths and things like that, you could put this in the center and maybe hang it from side to side in the middle of a different wall hanging that you're using, something like that. So it's a little wooden sign, adds a little bit of dimension to something like that that you might be creating. And we've got several of these to show you. So this one is so cute too. Come sew with me, love it. This is so cute for your sewing room door. And of course we have the so what sign. So 
definitely I will be adding this to my wall, of course, because I join you every week for So What? And now we can all be So What buddies and have this hanging in our sewing room together. Super cute. Like this one. Life's a stitch. So cute. I can't stop saying cute. Okay. <laughs> this one is quite good. Sew over it. So if you have little stations where you have your sewing machine, maybe you have a pressing station, maybe you have um, a cutting area, you know, this could be hanging over uh, one of those stations for you in your sewing room. Really cute. All right, so you can find all those at sulky.com. I also, it's like Christmas every day around here. I also have some little ornaments. These are kind of like ornaments, but they're also just a smaller version of those signs. They come with a cute little ribbon, so you could add this to your tree over the holidays, or you could really just put this on a um, smaller little shelf that you have in your sewing room. This one says, I heart sewing. And this one is I heart quilting. Aren't these so cute? So you can grab up a variety of gift supplies, gift supplies, gifts to have on hand. You know, I love when I get invited to something and I'm like, I need to bring something for the hostess or um, I need a little, maybe a door prize or something like that. For a, an event, these are the perfect solution. Bundle these up with a thread pack with a little pair of um, those little mini scissors and you've really got yourself a nice gift for a sewing friend. All right, so again, I want to remind you, all of you who are commenting and uh, commenting, reacting, asking questions, sharing today's posts, our great giveaway for today is our six pack of Sulky 50 Weight Cotton Petites. And this is in all of those great patriotic colors, plus like quite a few neutrals in there. And you save a little bit of money by buying a bundle of thread versus purchasing all these spools individually. So it's a great idea to grab up those thread assortments. Um, they would be perfect for this patriotic pinnacle table runner. Now, I have been informed we only have a couple of these kits left at sulky.com. So if you want one of these patriotic pinnacle table runner kits, you've got to act fast and add that to your cart. So this kit uh, makes the table runner shown here. You need your own background fabric, which here it is this kind of off-white color and you need your own backing fabric as well as binding, but this will give you enough charm squares to make the top of the um, quilt with the addition of that background fabric. Then you also get this beautiful thread collection, which allows you to add machine embroidery. You get a machine embroidery design collection, as well as this specialty ruler that allows you to create all of those pinnacle um, blocks for your table runner. So limited quantity of these. However, we also have the charm pack at sulky.com. So if you want just a charm pack of really great Riley Blake patriotic themed fabrics, you can grab up this charm pack um, along with your six pack of cotton petite thread. You could see how, let me make this go a little bit smaller. You could see how these coordinate so well together. So if you're grabbing up that six pack, grab this charm pack as well, and then you're on your way to making a really, really cute patriotic themed project. Um, I actually have one in the works that I'll be sharing with you, um, I believe next week, but I'll see what my schedule entails. Uh, so if you grab this up, I will be sharing a project with you in the next week or so where you can utilize that um, charm pack and make some really cute table decor. I feel like for the July and patriotic themed holidays, you know, we're entertaining, we're going outside. Um, even if we're just entertaining our close vaccinated relatives, um, your choice, of course, uh, as far as that goes. <laughs> Anyways, whether you are keeping it a small gathering 
or able to have a little bit larger one. Um, we are all chomping at the bit to get out there and have um, a really great summer full of, um, you know, entertaining and at least grilling outside and using some cute new table decor. So um, we will be having that. And thank you, Carolyn, for loving the patriotic themed items. Um, also, if you just search patriotic at sulky.com, you'll find a number of uh, cute items. So that five inch charm stacker, um, with inc which includes 42 pieces of fabric, is only $12.59. 12 bucks. So really great deal on that fabric. So get it while supplies last. All right. So again, to recap, I have linked in today's post how to register for our patriotic or excuse me, our Americana cross stitch webcast happening tomorrow. Um, so be sure to register. So Amanda created a free project specifically for the webcast. So anybody who registers will get a uh, free pattern that she created that kind of goes with this Americana or American bison pattern as well. So um, you will get access to the freebie immediately when you register. Also during the webcast, we will have two fantastic door prizes and you will surely want to be included in the mix on that one. So there's chances to win, there's freebies to be had, there's 60 minutes of tutorial from the designer of this pattern herself. So you really can't get better than that when it comes to virtual education, when you have access to the pattern designer herself to ask questions and learn from her. So again, she considers herself a newbie. I think that's so funny. Um, she's really bringing a modern twist to cross stitch, and I think you all will really, really enjoy learning from her. So um, thank you everyone for joining today. Sorry to kind of keep it short today, um, but again, tomorrow, 60 minutes of content. Sometimes we go over a little bit. We have two Q&A opportunities where we uh, give Amanda your questions. She will answer them live on the spot, and again, you will really love our sewingonline.sulky.com education platform. You will view the webcast from there and you can also add any of our previous events to your library and watch them at any time. We have our legacy webinars. We have all of the webcasts we have done thus far on that platform, as well as our longer format video casts, which are live streaming video of everything that we showcase um, walking you through a project. So you learn tons and tons of techniques um, and all that good stuff. So let me go ahead. Oh, flow is ready for tomorrow. I love it. Let me go ahead and make sure that we don't have tons of questions that I need to answer. Um, Twyla wants to know, are those golden stars behind the buffalo? Okay, let's bring up the pattern. So they're actually colonial knots. Oh, behind the buffalo. Um, so in, yes, in the background, um, they are, I think they're called like Algerian eyes. Um, I have to remember. So, but you're making them with cross stitches and that is one of the stitches she's going to go over in detail and show you on video. So you will actually see how she forms all of those great stars. And then on the Buffalo itself are colonial knots that we are making with um, a combination of 12 weight cotton petites, as well as the poly sparkle thread. So you're, we're adding a little bit of sparkle. So I feel like whenever I'm making a patriotic project, I go for the sulky hollow shimmer, the sulky sliver thread. I want to add the poly sparkle into the mix. You know, here's the time to get sparkly and embellish a lot because, you know, we're kind of emulating stars and fireworks and all that good stuff. So we get to really, really play with the sulky specialty threads. It's really fun. Okay. Lots of people registered. Betsy needs to register. Get on it, girl. <laughs> Can't get enough patriotic projects. I love it. I know. Can't believe 4th of July is getting close. Isn't it crazy? I still can't believe that my children will be out of school and on to the next grade in a matter of 
a few short weeks. So I was just telling them this morning, we only have two more Mondays left of school. Two more Mondays. That's crazy. All right. So again, if you have questions regarding the project, come to the webinar or webcast tomorrow. We will address them live with Amanda May. She's ready to go. She's so prepared. You will love her teaching style. She has a great floss tube channel on YouTube where you can watch a lot of her other videos. And she just has really, really cute projects and a great um, aesthetic. So I think you will like that. All right. Love the cotton threads. Yes. All right. Again, um, ooh, Kathy says, I love the little signs. Those would look cute tied to gift baskets. Absolutely. And I should have mentioned, Sulky.com is the only place you can get those signs. They are designed exclusively um, for Sulky. So if you want to grab those, um, get them while the getting's good. All right. So again, today's little gifty for one lucky viewer who is commenting, reacting, liking today's post. We've got our six pack of uh, Sulky 50 weight cottons on snap spools. This is our patriotic palette for quilting. Again, if you're not a quilter, you can use this for home decor projects. You can use this for bag making, for even garments. So I think you'll really love working with this thread. You can really tell the difference when you work with a high quality thread versus a bargain bin thread. So once you'll, you try it, you'll never go back. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for joining me today, everyone. And be sure to tune in next week on Tuesday for So What at our regular time, which is 12 Eastern. I will have another great gift for y'all to win. And join me tomorrow for Americana Cross Stitch on sewingonline.sulky.com. And I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day and have a great rest of your week. And that this has really sparked some inspiration for some patriotic projects to get you into the spirit of things. So thank you so much. And I will see you next week.